Beyond the basic drawing capabilities of Autodesk Inventor, Inventor has the ability to create specialized view types, for example, the breakout view. A breakout view is based on a sketch. You'll need to select a drawing, then start a sketch. Creating a basic sketch, such as a spline, or any shape that you feel is appropriate for your view. You'll simply create the shape, adjust it as necessary, and after you finish the sketch, you can start the breakout view tool. When you select the drawing view, it will detect whether or not there is a closed looped sketch. You can choose how you'd like to define the depth of the view, from selecting a point, or using an existing sketch, or through a part. In this case, I'll select the top and click OK. This will modify the view to see the interior through the top, leaving all of the other components intact. Another specialized view is the overlay view. Here we have the clamp subassembly. It's being shown in a nominal position. What the overlay drawing view allows us to do is apply positional representations. So starting overlay and selecting the view, it will bring up the overview dialog where you can select a different view representation if you like, or a different positional representation. For example, starting with open, clicking OK, it will apply that different view representation. You can go back to the overlay view, select the drawing view again, this time choose the closed positional representation. After clicking OK, all three positional representations will be displayed. You can also edit the overlay views to not show the shaded view for added clarity. After the views are placed, you can always go to the Annotate tab and apply a dimension for this example to show the range of motion between open and closed. Going to another sheet in the drawing, we have a partially finished detail. What I'd like to do is use the symbols, specifically geometric dimensioning and tolerancing symbols, to augment the drawing. We'll start by using a datum identifier, selecting the geometry of the view, clicking once to rough in the location. We have the ability to change the datum callout. Then let's add a feature frame. We'll just add one in space. We can attach these directly to geometry as well. By using continue, we can go in and enter the values. We have the ability to insert symbols, such as maximum material condition or diameter. We can place our datum information, either typing it in directly or using the pull down. And we can even add datum identifiers onto the symbols themselves using the hole as an additional datum. 